Have you ever heard of an organ that grows just for one purpose and then disappears? No, it's not science fiction. It's something that happens in every pregnancy, and it might just be the most underrated miracle in your body. Hi, I'm King, and welcome back to the Med Atlas, where we break down the human body like never before. Let me take you back to a biology class you might have snoozed through. You've probably heard of the heart, lungs, and kidneys, but the placenta? That's the unsung hero. It invades like a spy, transforms like an architect, and performs like a multi-tool, all while keeping two people alive at once. Sounds dramatic? Well, it kinda is. Today, we'll uncover how the placenta forms, step by step, from the very first days after fertilization, and then explore the surprising ways it protects and sustains life like a silent guardian. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never think of pregnancy the same way again. Let's get into it. It all begins with a single cell, the zygote, tiny, invisible to the eye, yet it's already a powerhouse of potential. Soon, this cell divides rapidly, transforming into a blastocyst, like a miniature bubble ready to change everything. Its outer layer, the trophoblast, is no ordinary skin. It's the future placenta in disguise. Now here's where things get intense. The blastocyst burrows into the uterine wall, not gently, but invasively, like it knows it must secure its place to survive. The trophoblast splits into two types, cytotrophoblasts, the builders, and syncytiotrophoblasts, the invaders. These syncytio cells aggressively reach into mom's tissues, breaking into her capillaries to form lacuna, the early blueprint of blood exchange. Then comes the construction team, chorionic villi, first primary, then secondary, and finally tertiary villi. Each stage more specialized, each one expanding like roots searching for nourishment. But here's a common misunderstanding. People think the placenta is just a passive filter. It's not. It builds itself, shapes its surroundings, and prepares for the most complex task, supporting new life. As these villi deepen their hold, they set the stage for what comes next, a complete system ready to nourish and protect. Let's explore that in the next part. Imagine an organ that can act like a hormone factory, a security system, a nutritionist, and a diplomat, all at once. That's the placenta. Once formed, it begins releasing key hormones like HCG, progesterone, and estrogen. These aren't just pregnancy markers. They're chemical messages keeping the uterine lining stable, the immune system in check, and mom's body adapting every day. But what about protection? Here's where things get really impressive. The placenta is a semi-allograft, meaning half the baby's DNA is foreign to the mother. Yet, there's no rejection. Why? It creates an immune cloak with molecules that whisper to mom's immune cells. Don't attack, we're on the same team. Then it plays gatekeeper. Oxygen, glucose, nutrients. Allowed in, waste and CO2, sent out. But direct blood contact? Never. Instead, intervillous space lets mom's blood bathe the chorionic villi, like a nutrient spa, with no mixing. Here's a mistake people often make, thinking the placenta is just a passive tube. In truth, it's an active, intelligent interface, constantly adapting to the baby's needs. And by the end of the first trimester, it's fully operational, quietly performing miracles every second. The placenta isn't just a side note in pregnancy. It's the quiet architect of life. From building its own blood supply to shielding the baby from harm, it works nonstop behind the scenes. So next time you hear placenta, remember, it's not just an organ. It's a miracle in action. If you found this as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Med Atlas. More hidden wonders of the human body await.